viewers, we are back for another box action. Today we have got um, both um, two of our women's teams today. Women's two versus women's three. Women's two is um, wearing white today and women's three is wearing um, purple today. And the ball's tipped to the white team, one two. Ball gets past the wing, so low block. For a three point shot, no good, just a bit long. Three's come up with a rebound and pushing the ball down. We have number 32 bring the ball up. Let's see Rod drives into the basket off the right hand side. Is not good rebound by number 13 here. Women's well, teams are making their way up the court in the fast break. Ball gets passed to the top to the corner for another three point shot. No good. Just top of the backboard. Drive to count. And another shot. No good. And the ball goes to women's three. The ball gets pushed up. They break the press. Easy layup. And Quick that is layup good. Today. Quick layup from Rod and three two. Off the right side of the basket. And number four bringing up the basket line. Purple team choose to opt in for a zone defense. I think that's a one, a one four zone defense. I've never seen that one before. Those, uh, takes the ball to the corner. Intercepted there nearly to get it back again. Shot cut going down. Shots going off from Owen number ten, and it's good. Three points good at the top of the key from Ellie Owen. White team choose to press the ball again. They br um, purple break through the half, but lose the ball in the process. Great defense by women's twos here. Another shot goes up, and it's just off the rim, rebounded by purple. And the women's twos come back up the court. Rekhan taking control of the ball here. Now he's going to push to the right hand side. Great defense here. White team choose to stay in a man to man defense. Shot goes up, gets blocked. Big time block here. We got the fast break going from women's twos. They're going to take three. a three point. And it's just off in and out for no return there. Very unlucky. Many, great, uh, many good looks there, but just the shot just needs to be falling. Game separated by one point in favor of. Oh. A lot of on ball pressure here for the women's twos. Forced in turnover. They're going to inbound from their own baseline. Top here now. And a, a shot clock, I think a shot clock error is going on. That's right, one of those two is going to inbound from the sideline once they get everything sorted here. <laughs> 60 seconds left on the shot clock. Ball gets passed around. The driving dish. Falls back up top. We go to the corner. It's in the wing. Women's two is being able to get it into the post now. against another shot by Elion. And it's just off this time. Rebounded by women's threes. They're going to push the ball up the left side of the court. And a blocking foul. Foul called the number four there, Owen. Me and Hosta inbound the ball. Gets it into the post to kick it back out to the wing. Round a low block now. Some great footwork there. Three point shot and a foul is called. Cool. Oh. Just a little bit off the shot. Almost a four point opportunity there. Substitutions coming in for white team, the women's two. We have got checking into the game. 
number 11 Kate Davies and number 15 Rose Bryan so number 32 here film is threes Felicity Raw is going to take her first free throw first one is good just rolls into the rim Second one is good. Both shots good there for Rod. Clemens 2 puts the ball over center again. Looking set up with their offense. Threes remain in a 2 free zone. Great ball movement here by the twos. Getting the ball all over the court. Shot goes up and it's just off. Rebounded by the threes. Ball gets passed up the court. They slow it down to reset their offense. Balls at the wing now. Just dribbled to the top. Oh, and a foul is called. Foul on the baseline drive there. The ball will stay on the baseline. So almost three is going to inbound. Nienhaus here to inbound from the women's threes. She takes the ball to Hang in the wing. And a mid-range shot. Good. Mid-range shot is good by Quince. Or Quince. The women's three are proving themselves with a three-point lead. Um, for the first quarter with six minutes left. And I think a foul was called. I believe foul. that last shot was actually by Brett Colink there. My mistake, Brett Colink hit that mid-range two. It's a great shot, they definitely needed that. There's been a lot of possessions and not many scores for both teams here. Agreed. Substitutions coming in for, the, for both teams. But for the freeze, we have got Number 20. Ooh. First free throw just off for Caitlin Doohan. She's going to stay at the line for a second. Oh, it's off again. There's one last free throw attempt. And the free throw is good for Caitlin Doohan. Three's trying to get the ball in, they finally do. Great defensive pressure from the twos. A good pass and a good um, layout. Good ball movement, good break in the press. Quick layout from Rod there. A three point shot and no good. Rebound is collected. Fast break opportunity, there's no defender there. Easy layup. Oh, and. Say just can't get it to go down the fast break layup. Those are the type of um, shots that you don't want to miss in a game, especially when the game is close. Great ball movement here by the twos. Can't get it to go. Please regain possession. We're going to dribble ball up the court. Good defensive pressure here. And oh, a foul is That was great defensive pressure there from the twos. Just important to get a foul call. Substitution coming in for the threes. We have got we have got number 31 Victoria Zora coming into the game. A pass. Slow, slow down to reset the um, offense. Balls swung, swung to the top. Shot clock going down, they need to get a shot off. And no good. The three from Rod just can't go there. Shot clock run now, they have to throw up a shot unfortunately. Hustle them back in defense now. The two set up their offense, driving in. They dish it again. Davies with the pump fake. Shot, no good. Shot by own, just off there, rebounded by the threes again. They push the ball the court. Threes get the ball, but it's it stolen. stolen. By own. She passes to Davies, and Davies gets the easy layup on the right hand side. Great defensive pressure there from the twos.
And a foul is called, a blocking foul. Foul was called on Kate Davies. Substitutions coming in for both teams. For the twos, we have got... Oh, for the twos, I believe number 14. Number 14, Jamima, Jamima Beyondun, Bello checking into the game. And I think there was two for the three, two, two players for the threes checking in. We have Zorora, Zorora making his first free throw here. I believe that was team fouls um, for the twos, so threes are going to shoot some free throws here. And the second free throw is good as well for Zora, number 31 from threes. The threes are up by three points um, with just four minutes left, but the lead is cut down to one point as the layup goes in. The twos choose to press the um, court, trying to make turnover, um, trying to make sure that the purple team um, make mistakes. Ball slow down to reset, a screen. Good solid screen set there up top. Dribble, kick out, dribble, floater, no good. And two's come up with a rebound. Good strong rebound there. Ball is passed up quickly with a, I think a three point shot going up, but no good. Just can't go from Davies there, unfortunate. Three's push up the ball again. Come to center court again. Strong defensive pressure from the twos. And a three-point shot is up, but no good. And an easy layup as somebody was running up the court. Easy layup from Owen there. Which good running. And which puts the women's twos up by one point with just under three minutes left to go. Crossover. Good move. Passes out, but it goes to the twos. Substitution coming in for the twos. We have got. We've got number five. Number five, Ingrid Wong checking into the game. Okay, he's thinking about the three there. Decides to drive. Can't Miss get the layup to go. Strong defensive pressure there. And the, uh, the threes regain possession. They're going to embark from their baseline. Two shoots to press the ball. Trying to get a five second hit call. Great defensive pressure here. The threes struggling to get the ball up the court. That was a sideline call for number 40 there. She just stepped out of bounds. I think purple team, the women's threes, just needs to um, push the ball up the court a bit more, a bit aggressively. Try to make sure that the twos um, commit fouls. And a timeout is called by the women's three, the purple team. We will be back after this timeout.
Michael. We are back for more action. And we have the women's two taken out to the ball. Ball gets passed in to the corner. Back to the wing for a three point shot. Just a bit short. Rebounds collected by the women's three. Two points just off there by Rose Bryan, number 15 for the twos. Three across the ball. But intercepted. Stolen, but no oh, good. A Parsons travel Parsons. call. Great steal by Megan Palmer there, number 12. But just enforce another travel call. Oh, sorry about that, viewers. Just a bit of a, a bit of a DJ problem, audio problem there. Balls pushed up successfully, breaking the press, but just intercepted. But a bad pass. Oh, both teams are turning over the ball now. They just need to slow down. Find a good pass just like that for a quick, easy shot, but no good. They collect the rebound. Another mid range shot for the twos, no good. And a three point shot. Just a bit short. Three's off for Kate Davies. They're trying to get it to go. And ball goes to the threes. Three's going to inbound the ball here from the bit or from the sideline. The women's two the white team has been taking a lot of um, three-point shots. Just haven't had any to go. Haven't had many to actually go in, and that's really put the threes um, well into this game. Still, just they're still just a bit behind by one point. With just a little over a minute left to go. Zero control Shot. on the offense here, trying to get our players to move. And no, a no good shot clock um, violation. Some more player movement, I think, is needed by the, the threes to be able to get that shot off. So who's going to bring up the ball now? Yeah, I agree with your last point. Um, the twos, I mean the threes, just do need to move the ball just a bit more. Find open um, shots, set more screens, um, and see what they can do. But the ball's pushed up, but no good. Reaching foul. If the threes can make a couple of three point shots and all easy layups, they can be well on top of this game. But they are just trailing with three points with just under 40 seconds left of this quarter. We have Chris Roberts and um, Caroline Lee checking in for the women's twos. Shots, no good. We have low at the line right now. Second shot, good. That's good for Jasmine Low there. Able to connect on a second free throw. Substitution coming in for the threes. We've got number 21. Number 21, Megan Malhorta checking into the game. Good ball movement here by the twos. Able to get the corner off. And, and that's, that's good. good. I think that's their first three of the game. So just checking into the game. Caroline League able to get that corner three. If the women's two gets more of those threes, the game could be well within... Um, their grasp like it is. Game clock going down, shot goes up, and it is good. Cutting the lead down to three points. Shot's good for Jasmine Lowe. Able to get the shot up there. With the shot clock winding down. And that is the first quarter of Bucks action with our with our women's three versus women's two. We will be back after a short break.
we are back for more buck action as the purple team women's three are taking the ball out ball gets passed in dribble a screen a cut pick and roll but it ends up in a jump ball and they think it'll go to the women's to the white team good defensive pressure there by rose bryan to get that jump ball ball gets dribbled up there grace roberts bring the ball up top pass it off and it's just off the right side of the rim there's can't get the three to go ball gets passed Rod was just, just a bit of a miscommunication there. Just can't hold on to it. Ball gets passed around to the low block. Back to the wing. A layup floater and good. Just good nice. Two points there from Brian. Did a good job to make the turnover the last play. Gets two points to go. The women's two are up by five points with just a little over nine minutes left in this quarter. Screen coming. Dribbles. Kicks out one more for no a pump fake. Mid-range shot. No good. Low just can't get the shot to go off there. The two got fast break again. Dribbling the ball Four from the right on side. Two and, and it is good. It is good again from Rose Bryan. Tough layup. Um Tough layup for Brian. Just took the contact and finished strong. Ball gets passed to the wing to the top. Better ball control this quarter, I believe, by women's three. They're able to hold on to it, get some good passes off. They set the screen up top. And the shot's just off by Hang off the left hand side. We get the women's three bring the ball back up. The ball gets passed to the paint, outside, dribble, kick out, another pass, good ball movement, floater, no good, just a bit long on that floater. The women's two are remaining in a man-to-man -man defense. The ball is in the low block, gets passed out for a three-point shot. Oh, no good. Ball gets tipped and remains with the twos. As we've got four um, members from the two substituting in and one member from the threes checking into the game. We have Robert standing by the ball here for the women's twos. She gets the ball back to him, takes a three, and mm, three jaws off. Another three. three, no good. Can't connect that time either. Dribbles the ball, passes, gets tipped, remains with the twos with only nine seconds on the shot clock. Ball gets passed and is blocked. And the ball remains with the twos. Three seconds left on the shot clock. The twos have got to get a shot up now. Threes are doing well for this defensive um, possession. And the threes remain in a two-three zone. The shot goes off. Just a bit long. David Fast Mike break opportunity. Layup. Strong finish. Quick layup there by Felicity Rod. Good job running the court. The three, the women's three in purple remain in a two-free zone. But a three-point shot goes up and it's no good. Okay, Davies taking another three there, can't get it to go. And another three-point shot, just a bit short. A lot of shots going up here by the twos. They're doing a good job of getting offensive rebounds, but they really need to start making their shots. Yeah, especially with the game this close. And a foul is called. The ref will say it is a blocking foul with two shots up. Foul call there on Ruby Coates. <coughs> the 
have Rod at the line, take our first free throw. First free throw is just off. The three has really got to start making their free throws here. They need every point that they can get to get back into the back into this game. Rod take your second free throw now, and it's good. Lead is cut down to four points in favor of the women's two in white. Ball is passed to the corner. Back to the wing, to the other wing. Back to the wing, back to the top. Two to trying to get a shot off with nine seconds left on the shot clock, but a three point shot goes up, but no good. Good ball being prepared by the twos that just weren't able to penetrate the defense. Couldn't get it in. A mid range shot. That is good. Lead is cut down to two points now with just under six minutes left. And a timeout is called, I believe, by the twos. Quick two points there from Cardo Canby. And that will shift the momentum in their favor. We'll be back after this timeout. Hello, we are back after the quick timeout by the women's two. We're going to have Caitlin doing inbounding the ball here. Gumption's going to bring up. Both teams are actually perfect for their season um, with the two women's twos and whites having three games one and the women's threes having only one game one. And a foul is called on the three. No, I think it was a travel call, maybe. It might have been a travel call there. The bare ball control. They're trying taking the screen here, trying to get the ball out. Passes the ball to the wing. He's going to try drive baseline. Good defense to let it stop and get in there. Hines going to try fight for the ball again. Pass it off. And a three is three good. Three point shot. He's good for Cardo Ikambi. She made her last two, last play. Makes a three this time. Good shooting. And ball gets passed to the middle. Back to the wing. Dribble. And a step back for three. And she responds. We're bringing that lead back up. Hey, Davies with the much needed three point there for the twos. They take a lot of shots, they really need to see one go in. Good defensive pressure here. The twos are choosing, I believe, a 2-3 zone, it looks like. Or some type of zone press, I'm not too sure. And then we have but, three. but the threes are just breaking through that press. Last two buckets, um, since they've started that, are good. They break cold length there, grabbing the rebound, and um, putting it back up for the two points. The threes have stayed in the two-three zone, and it's working thus far. But a foul is called. Foul is called on the arm. I believe it was on. I think it was on 32. Two 
two shots will be going up and the game is tied 22 apiece with just about four minutes left we have ruby card step up to the line for her first free throw first one is good I think the twos just need to get to the line a little bit more. They'd be making more free throws. The second is just off the cards. Can't get the second one to go. The women's three push up the ball. They pass it to the wing for a three-point shot, and it's good. It's been a shootout thus far. Wow. Points from Lienhouse. Both teams are really pushing it now. Trying to see which one will fold. Okay, I mean, that another looks another good, but shot. just a bit short. Can't get it to go. Drives into the center. She's in the paint, and she can't finish. The threes are up by um, three points. Oh, she's look she called for it, but she couldn't get the balance and the power needed for the shot. She was two for two for her last two shots. Thought she could make it to some force miss there. And a careless pass and oh the referee called a jump ball? Oh no. Very but, jump ball there. But the threes get it back anyway. Personally, from refereeing experience, I do not agree that sh that should not be in a jumble. But again, it's just whatever the referee calls at the time. You just gotta take it and move on. The ball gets past the corner. The twos are looking to trap every corner um, ball. They're just looking around. They're in their zone for a reason as they get a steal, possible pass. The ball goes up, just a bit too strong off the backboard. Davies couldn't get the hook shot to go there. Three's going to dribble the ball back up now. Still strong defensive pressure from the twos. Ball is being dribbled. The twos are still sitting in their zone. Mid-range shot, but you get the rebound. No shot clock reset. And a travel is called. Cool. Force a travel there from Zora. And as there'll be a bit of a wait as one of the players needs to tie the shoelaces. Oh, never mind, she finished. Ball gets passed in. Three, the women's three in purple remain in a two free zone. It's actually beneficial for them as Stuff like that can happen. Cards just couldn't hold the ball there in the baseline. He's going to regain possession. And checking into the game, we have got from the women's three, number 33. Number 33. Uh, Tila, I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I butchered that, views. A foul called on number five, Ingrid Wong from the twos. The referee signaled a blocking foul. Just a little bit too intense on the defense there. She's doing a great job, just a little too close. Ball's passed in, 14 seconds left on the shot clock. Zero you're trying to dictate the defense here. She takes a screen, she drives into the center, she kicks it out to the corner. And it's and another one. The women's three are really proving themselves right now. Another three from Nienhaus. But the women's two don't respond equally. As the women's three uh, push the ball, a pass, and a finish. No, but a rebound is collected. Another rebound. The threes just couldn't finish it that time. The ball is pushed up, and then and a strong layup it goes in. That's Rose Bryan with, this, with the, for, or the, uh, the layup there. Quick layup. And a, bit of a, and a bit of a careless pass there. Just gets the steal. Just with a minute left of this quarter, we have got the women's three up by three points. But can she equalize? Yes, she can. 
and a timeout is called by the women's three. 28 apiece, so we will be back after this short timeout. We are back. Um, apparently, there's a score issue um, on the live stream. We'll try to get that resolved. But the score 28 apiece with just under a minute left of this quarter. No we good. I get the hook shot to go there. The teams are going to bring up the ball. They're going to slow it down a little bit, trying to set up their offense. Ball gets passed to the top, to the wing, for a three-point shot, no good. Oh, and just can't get the three to go there, to, or the, uh, the three to the ball again. Yeah, it's just under a minute left. Maybe just under a minute, there's about 16 seconds left of this quarter. Women's two choose to press the ball, trying to stop them from shooting, and a foul is called. I believe on the shot with about nine seconds left of this half. Foul was called in Davies, but I believe they're going to inbound the ball from the baseline. No shot. Or okay, so they are going to take free throws. So now zero. Off for her first free throw. And it's just off. Only 9.8 seconds remaining in the half. Sorry about the score, viewers. We are trying to fix it. It is still 28 apiece for both teams. Tied up. Second free throw goes up. No good. Can't get it to go. The twos regain possession again. They're going to push the ball up. Women's two choose to try to get one more shot up. But they are unable to. And that is the end of the first half. We will be back with hopefully the score fixed. And yeah, that is the first half of box action. Just want to say a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Griffin, who sponsors Love for Basketball. The Love for Base Pub offers great deals there's, um, for all their customers, and big thank you to our sponsor, Love for Basketball.
this month as a club we are supporting the Movember. I really encourage you all to create a Movember profile and join our team in raising money to support this charity. Along with this, you're able to grow a funky mustache. Please do in support of this great cause. Back with more box action for the second half of this game. 28 apiece as the women's three in purple choose to remain in their zone defense. Proving very effective as the women's two can't seem to get their three point shots connect. Still very good defense pressure by the twos here. Pushing up onto the threes are struggling to pass the ball around. Trying to look to get it inside. Shot clock going down. Three, two, and it's blocked. blocked. Big block there. The twos push the ball up. Try to see if they can get some quick points here in the fast break. Ball's in the corner. Trying to get into the post. Pause and no, it's intercepted. Oh, Two on one fast break, and it is good pump fake, but just couldn't remain in balance. Ball is reset it outside. Time tries to control the defense here. I'm trying to make something of this before the shot clock. Shot clock goes down. Two seconds. Get the ball up, and it's good. Cardo can be again. In the last few seconds of the shot clock, the two points. The twos work the ball up again. Ball's being controlled up top by Owen. Shot clock going down. Eight on the shot clock. And a foul is called on the floor. Might be in a pushing. Foul call there on. Felicity Raw, number 32. I believe the twos are going to inbound from the baseline. Elio is going to inbound from the baseline for the twos. They get the ball into the short corner, and it's just in and out. But they get a rebound, and a jump ball is called. And it will go to the women's three. 
Jasmine low to inbound here for the women's threes. Women's two shoots to press the ball, trying to make sure that they don't get above the half court. But the point guard is doing very well to get the ball up, and she is rewarded with a foul and two free throws. Hag runs the floor there, goes up for the layup, gets called for the foul, can't get the layup to go, but she's going to go for two at the line. The coach for the women's three calls their players back for a bit of strategy meeting. First one is good. And the second free throw is... Substitutions coming in for the women's two. And we have got we have got number fourteen, Bjorn Bello, and I think I missed the other player. Sorry, viewers. And the ball is turned over by the twos. Threes are doing very well against what is supposed to be their um, superiors, but just a minor turnover. The ball gets trapped in the corner through the legs, doesn't work. Ball on a fast break, and no good, a bit of a travel. She was trying to decide whether she wanted to do a Euro step or just go through with it, but she couldn't make the decision right there. But now we've got the women's two pressing, I mean breaking the press. Dribbles in and a foul is called. Foul called on Rod there, I believe. A blocking foul there. I believe that is her third personal foul, if I'm not wrong. So she's getting a little bit of foul trouble here just at the very start of the second half. So we have Rose Bryan up to the line now to shoot her first free throw. First free throw is just off for Rose. Second free throw is good, just rolls in. One for two there for Brian, number 15. The two shoots to press the ball up. Three's trying to work it up the court. And a foul is called, I think a reaching foul. She was good to get the foul there. She's got the foul call right before she traveled, so it worked in her favor. The two still remain to choose to press the ball, trying to pressure their guards to fumble the ball and turn the ball over. But the three choose to prep, I mean to break the press. Ball gets swung around to the middle. Good shot. No good on the finish. Just need to execute a little bit better. Now the two shoes have slowed down the ball. Three-point shot. Can she tie it up? No good. The threes worked their way up the court again. A lot of defense pressure here, and it was stolen by the twos to try to make their way up the court. They take possession, but they're going to wait for some support from the rest of the players. A good three-point shot there, but just a bit long. Three just off for Brian. The threes looking to set up their offense, but the defense pressure is making it difficult for them. A great pump fake there, just not able to capitalize. The twos will regain possession, quickly pushing the ball up the court. A fast break opportunity, three point shot now, dribbles in. No good. Ball is slowed down by the threes. Up fumbles the ball.
Shot clock went down, but she couldn't convert. The ball's pushed up, two on one, fast break. This should be an easy layup, and they execute well. The threes are just now up by one point. They need to concentrate and get back into the game. And a smart decision by number 20 to throw the ball off the legs and retain possession instead of turning over the ball. But the, th but the women who are continuously pressing, making it hard for the guard players to push the ball up. We also have Davies and Palmer checking the women's twos. Quick substitution, just before the ball was inbounded. And a foul on the floor is called blocking foul. And the ball will be taken at the end line. Well, on the end line, sorry, news. We have Rod to inbound the ball. She's going to look to get into her big, and she does. Mid range shot, no good. Potential rebound. Unfortunate. Ball is within the two's possession. Ball is dribbled up the court. Just a bit over five minutes. Ball's passed to the corner for a three-point shot. No good. That was a chance to take the lead, and the ball remains with the threes. Crossover. The guard's doing very well to take care of the ball, but just a little bit sloppy on the pass there. Loading a great or hang, doing a great job bringing the ball off the court there. Just can't get the pass off to her corner. Checking into the game, we have got number 22, Aura Quincy, for the threes. Ball is dribbled, handoff action. Ball's passed to the corner. Baseline drive by Davies. And yes, the two ball short corner. And that puts the threes up by one point. We can break the defense again here, driving down the paint. Can't get the two to go. Ben's not happy with that. I think there's a foul call there. But the twos bring up the ball. But a three-point shot quickly. It's just off. They can't get the rebounds. The three's regain possession again. Ball's back into possession of Hang. A hard screen as the defender dropped to the floor. And I think it was hit. Ball is remaining with the threes. It's only eight seconds left in the shot clock here. Substitutions coming in for both teams for the women's three. We have got number 30, Merger, Ninehaus, and for the women's two, we have got, I believe, number five, Ingrid Wong, checking into the game. Shot clock going down. They need to get a shot up. Nothing there. Good defensive pressure by the women's twos. Not able to get a shot off there. And a bit of an error of communication by the referees. Um, just making sure that they're able to um, effectively well referee. Very important for referees to communicate as they will know what they're doing at all times, pace of the game, how the game's going, seeing what both teams do, etc. This is just what I know from refereeing experience. It also happens to be right checking into the game. Take them for the three up top, shot. and, it's, and good. it's good. That puts up the women's twos by four points. Still could be anyone's game, but turnover. No good on the layup. Ball is pushed up. The twos choose to press. 
trying to avoid committing any fouls. The coach is saying hands off. You don't want to have any fouls. Foul is called. But right there, that's what the coach did not want for the twos. The women's twos were in foul trouble last quarter. And this quarter they got, and this half they got three fouls so far. Definitely don't want to be getting into foul trouble again. The first so one's good. Yura, number 31 for the women's threes. She's going to go to the line for a second. Second one is just off to the left and remains with the threes. Mm. Ball is Inbounded, but no good on the shot. Good rebound by Zora there, it's can't get it off. Three or the twos are going to bring up the ball again, right hand side, they're going to push the fast break. A crossover, passing move. Pick to the corner, Davis for three, can't get it to go. The threes are going to grab the rebound there, push the ball up the court. Still a lot of defensive pressure. So the twos are doing a very good job of getting back on defense, not letting them through into the paint. And a strong screen as one of the one of the defenders drops, but no good on the shot. And it's a bit of a sloppy pass there. And but no, wait, wait, a jump ball situation, and it's going to remain with the twos, the women's twos. Both teams do an incredible job in defense. They really just need their offense to start going. They're getting open shots. They just need to capitalize on them now. Yeah, especially for the um, for the twos, for their three-point shots. I'm just like that three. one. Three. There we go. Quick corner three off the inbound. Just like that one. Now the two. Now threes push up the ball. And a foul is called, I believe, two shots. Wait. Two shots are coming up. And we have a substitution for the women's threes. We have got number 33, Eve Tyler, or Tiller. Sorry if I butchered that. Checking into the game. First free throw is good. Give Zura come up to take her second free throw now. Can she go two for two? And she does. More substitutions coming up here. We have got number four. We've got number four, Ellie Owen, checking into the game. Game is separated by only four points now in favor of the women's two in white. Ball's being passed around, trying to make the threes run a bit. Strong defensive pressure inside the three-point line from the threes. Not able to penetrate that defense. We're looking for the open shot on the outside. I believe number 10 was looking for a foul call there. She believed maybe it was a reach or blocking foul there. Shot clock is on five. They need to get a shot off. And the shot goes off, but no good. Shot clock violation. I think it may or may have not touched the rim there. Oh, and able to get the shot off, just not able to, not able to get near the rim, the shot clock. Please push up the ball now. Looking to get it inside again, they do. Then they go to pass it out. Lay up, slightly blocked, no good. Rebound is, and the rebound goes up, and second chance points goes in. Great second chance points, number 31 Zora there. Gets the rebound and puts it back up for the hook shot. Spin move, pass, pass, shoot, no good, just a bit off the air. 
But another three point shot, no good, just off the left. Two's looking for great shots there. They are getting open shots, we're just not able to make them right now. There's a trap there. A bit of a Euro step, but no good on the layup. Game separated by two points with the women's twos up. Ball's passed out, passed again, dribble. And tough layup, no good on the finish, but they get the rebound. The ball's passed out to the wing, to, to the wing again. Roberts drives into the paint, gets it gets block. blocked. Big time block there, Free's gonna regain possession. The ball's pass quickly to the corner. Tries to get a layup, no good. Dribbles, a mid-range jump shot, good decision, but not a great enough execution. She had the space. Great look there from the freeze. But miscommunication, but they don't get punished for it. Our is off. Freeze so pushed the ball up the court, he's getting past the defense. And no good. Uh, to go. And that is the end of the third quarter of play. We will be back for the final quarter. back for the final quarter of Bucks action. We've got Loughborough's women's three versus women's two. With a two point lead for the for women's two. We'll see which um which team will come out on top. We're three standpoint here. They're gonna start off with possession. They're running through their play. Women's two choose to go into a two-free zone. Mid-range shot just way off the left. Small Horton is not able to get it to go that time. Still good ball moving from the from the threes. Two's bringing up the ball now. Good defensive pressure from the threes. I think this is the first time they're going into pretty much a full court press. They get ball inside easily. A bit of miscommunication there. There was supposed to be somebody down the rotation. That's good inside work there from Ruby Cards, number 13. For the two points. And now the women's two choose to press a jump ball and the ball goes to the women's two. The, the women's two have been pressing the ball um, 
all game from full court, especially on a score. Got Rose Bryant and Martin the ball here. He forced the jump ball. Tim binds it to Elion up the top. He's going to try set up for offense. He works the way around. The women's three. Oh, and a foul is called on the floor. As I was trying to say earlier, the women's three um, still will remain within that two free zone. Just trying to make sure that they can get um, any low percentage shots to miss. Ruby Kais goes up for the shot, can't get it to go. It's rebounded by the threes, they're going to push down the middle, and a foul is called. Foul's called on Caitlin Doohan, I believe. Game is separated by four points in favor of women's two. The ball is being dribbled. Passed to the corner. It's going to dry baseline. Just can't get it to go back into the corner. Bring the ball up top. To the mid range. No good. Can't get it to go. I think they're going to leave the ball to go out of bounds. And the women's two is going to regain possession. Elio to dribble up the ball here now, she passes off to the wing, she thought about it, she drives in, it's a good strong drive, can't get the basket to go but the foul is called. So Rose Bryant's going to go to the line for two shots. Every free throw from now counts, Every, not even just every free throw, just every point from now counts. It's still a very close game. Yeah, and the lead widened with that free throw made. One shot, five point lead. Can she widen it? Both yes, shots she good can. For Rose Bryan, number 15 for the women's two. So we have the freeze inbound in the ball. They're going to try to get it up the court. Very strong defensive pressure from the twos. And the ball's fumbled and turned over. A fast break opportunity. Just Elio no good just on the can't layup. Get the layup to go. And Forrest needs to do a great job running the floor there. Just can't get the layup to go. Women's three is controlling possession again. Looking for their players to move around. Need some options here. Ball stays up top. Shot clock at an eight, seven seconds now. So the ball is. Ball's turned over. Substitutions coming in for the women's three. We have got number 30. Merger Ninehouse and number 34. Number 34. Not too familiar with names, sorry, viewers. We've got a turn over here. So, Freeze are going to regain possession. They inbound it. A play is called. They're looking to set up their offense. Great defensive pressure by the twos. As I was trying to say earlier, number 34, Raina Koto Elkambi um, checks into the game. Just under eight minutes left. And a push in the back foul. Fouls on Elio in that time. And a timeout is called by the women's three. We will be back after this short break.
we are back after the timeout with just under eight minutes left of the of the last quarter we'll see which team comes out on top still anybody's game right now ball was looking to be passed to the center but no good on, on the pass Ball makes his way back up top here again for the freeze. He gets into the corner. He's going to take a shot from the corner. And it's just off. There's an air ball from the corner there. Freeze is going to push the ball up the middle of the court. Looking for some help. The ball gets put into the corner. She's going to drive. And it's good. The drive is good. Lead is cut down to just four points now. Anybody's game. That was two points from Brick Hulik there. No good on the layup, not the shot that they need. Yes, the rebound, and a foul was called. The threes, or the twos is pushed up a little bit too close to the threes here. A lot of fouls going to be called. Substitutions coming in for both teams. We've got number 32 for women's three. Raud. Raud. Raud? Sorry if I butchered that. And we've got, I believe, number 11. Number 11, Davies. Number 10, Roberts. And I believe number 12, number 12, Palmer checking into the game. Great drive by Rod there. Had the pass off. Three point shot. No, he get it to go three from the top. It was a good shot though. She was open. She needed to take that. Kind of capitalize. Davis pump fix. And a pushing foul. I think for what the women's three needs to do in this game, the team in purple just needs to push the ball just a bit more. Because I think a lot of the women's two are a bit in foul trouble. They have fouled a, quite a bit during the course of this game and be, even been on the penalty. And now a jump ball is called and it will be the women's three ball. Good defensive possession. Jump ball forced there by Brett Coling. Good job on defense. The women's two choose to press like Don't they've been the ball doing. Nearly in. intercepted there. They well get the ball up. A Passes pass. up to the short corner. Shots not good. Can't get it to go. We have Davies pushing the ball up the center of the court here now. She's looking to offload. Gets the ball back in the corner. Ball makes the way around to the other side. Nearly intercepted. Just couldn't get it. And, and a block. block. Vicious block. Big time block there. Two on one fast break. Could have passed it there. And oh, a kick ball. Really could have passed it down the two on one fast break. Had the opportunity to close the lead just a bit more. Did a great job to get the ball up there. They really just need to start making their shots now, especially these layups. They all count. So five minutes left in the game. Two free zone by the women's three. No, three in the corner by Davies, and it's off this time. And now the ball is being pushed up. Both teams are getting very good looks. They really need to start making their shots. A shot by 30. No good. Just needs to make it. Every shot counts. Just under, um, just a little over five minutes left. It's nearly intercepted there by Hang, but she can't grab onto it. Davies passes into the corner. Corner shot is off. Can't get it to go. And threes regain possession. They look to make, make their way up the court. Dribbling up through the center now. Ball is passed to the top, to the wing, to the corner for a shot and a foul is called. I think it was a foot on the line. It might have been two. It is two shots. Substitution coming in for the women's two. We have got number 15, Rose Bryan, checking into the game. First free throw is not good. They really need to start making their free throws. The game's just too close for them to miss um, every crucial point that they can get. Brick Holick got the line. Just going to settle for a second free throw now. Hopefully get some points on the board. And a 
just I goes off no for you know, for cooling. And the women's three choose to press the ball a little bit. Good miscommunications, so the press is unsuccessful. Great pass and great reception. Mm, They're just not even finished the layup. It's a good pass inside. The ball gets passed. Dribbled, the ball gets dribbled. But interception. And no good on the layup. Strong take to the basket, couldn't finish. We're gonna slow the game down a little bit now. They're looking to make some play calls, trying to figure out the offense. And they get the ball to the wing. He's gonna drive it into the paint, looking for a floater, can't get it to go. She's gonna regain possession now to get the ball up, ball up quickly, but she doesn't see it, it's just right behind her. Bad communication error from the twos. The possession is lost. And a timeout is called, I believe, by the women's three. We will be back after this. for the final four minutes left of this game. The women's two choose to run into a two free zone. Oh, and the, the ball, ball is stolen. stolen. Opportunity to widen the lead. No good. Just I get the lead to go. Just need to execute on those um, easy opportunities. Can't really be missing those. Great job with the steal from Elion there. She ran down full pace, just can't finish the layup. They really need to work on their layups here. And a quick timeout by Women's 2. We'll be back again for the final four minutes.
We are back for the last three minutes and 48 seconds of this game. If it doesn't run over time. Women's two inbounding the ball. Women's three are in a 2 free zone. The ball is being passed around quite well. The ball goes up. No good. No rebound. Go. Can't get it to go. So three is going to regain possession again. Going to get, get the ball up the court. So a lot of defensive pressure here. Oh, and a uh, foul. An easy foul there. You can hear the slap from the scores table. Easy slap there. And I think that then the penalty uh, penalty yeah. now. So they're getting That's free it. throws. So same as same as the last um, last half in the penalty trouble. Five fouls again here. So any foul from now on, they're gonna go straight to the line. Just need to make these free throws count now. So we're following up with the first free throw here. First one is good. Gonna stay at the line for one more free throw. Every point is crucial now in the last few minutes of the game. No, uh, the second one. So Two's are looking for the fast break here to get the ball into the corner. Get the ball back up top again. Take a quick three. No good. They're pushing the ball down the court. Balls reset to the top, gets passed to the wing, gets passed to the top, gets passed to the wing again, pump this fake, bit of a shot, no good on the shot, shot clock is going down, and a foul is called, a foul is called, and that'll be two extra free throws. Another another chance to um, cut down the lead. So again, we got Han come to the free throw line. Going to take the first free throws. First one is good. Number 20 has been performing well. That is number 20, Anthea Hang. Been very, has been a very good guard this game. Just dribbling the ball well, keeping pace. Can't make the second one there. They do regain possession, but it's lost. When it's too lucky to push it quickly. They got options, they got options in both corners. He goes to Kate Davies in the corner. And the three's mm. just off. You really need that three there. The game the separated by two though. points. Game separated by two points. He's going to take another no. shot clock going down. They need to get a shot off. No good. Had to force it up in the shot clock there. Couldn't make it. The freeze. I'm not able to set up the plays. And oh. He gets the ball back in the corner. So he's going to drive baseline. Takes the ball out, looking to drive in the paint again, but the three is going to be taken by Rod. She can't no get it good, to go. but the rebound is collected by the threes. Ball is passed. Dribble, kick out, another shot. No good. One or two, get a rebound. They're pushing up the ball. Ball's passed to the corner. Another chance for a three. No good. Roberts couldn't get the three to go there, but women's two's regain possession. They hold on to it. And another three, a brave three. No good. Women's three's looking to slowly take the ball up now. They really need their players to get moving on this. They need some inside points. Their threes haven't been working for them. They do get the ball in the low post. He drives. No Can't good. Go. Just go. doesn't have the angle some players thought it was a foul and a ball is tipped. But no good. She recovers the ball and lays it up. That was number fifth. Number 15, Rose Bryan. Widening the lead. And a blocking foul. The coach is a bit annoyed. And that will be two shots as they're in the penalty again. 59 seconds left in the game. Players are still following necessarily here. Not necessarily tactical fouls yet. That was a bit. 
they just necessary. Now they just need to make the free throws. Women's three. The first one is no good. Just off to the left. There's number 31 Ziora here up at the line. First one not able to make. The second free throw needs to go in to cut the lead down to a basket. And no, it just rattles out and the referee calls no um no shot, no basket because I think she stepped over before um the ball reached the rim. Two three gaining possession here, they're gonna inbound it in their own half, looking to get it in. Still good defensive pressure. They are going full court with the pressure and she crosses over, she gets past her, passes off to the wing, it's in the corner. Wing loves to drive, pass it off again, the three's up, and it's just off, can't get the three to go. Who's regaining possession, get it inside. And, and a foul's, foul's called, and, and now they're in the penalty. Foul's called, I believe, on number 12, Rod. And two shots are coming up. They, now these free throws are crucial, making the lead to now maybe a three basket, two basket game. Rose Bryant at the free throw line, she makes her first one. Which widens the lead to five points. Two basket game now. Can she force it? Can she force the women's three to have to make two threes in the next 41 seconds? Can she make the free throw? Yes, she can. Oh, and making both free throws there. And a crucial points. And a crucial tight. Wait, no, not a timeout. My bad. A crucial substitution coming in for the threes. Oh, that was number thirty. Neenhouse coming in for the threes there. Big defense pressure here from the twos. Oh, away. and a foul is. I think a trip, no, a foul is called, might have been a blocking foul. Yeah, a blocking foul, and that's two more free throws. That is not the foul that you need in this late of the game. But we'll see how the women's three responds with their current situation. Just under 31 seconds left, 30.9 actually, from our official game clock. We have Ellie Owen up the line here. First free throw is just off. Game is still um, six points. Six what? point game, 30 seconds left. Game shots off as well. And they had to cancel that shot because one of the offensive players that played with the line, I believe. And a timeout is called by women's three. Very crucial for them. We'll be back after this timeout for the last 30 seconds left of this game. And now we are back for the final, final 30 seconds left of this game. 
with a timeout. The women's three choose to inbound in the front court, I believe. I might be wrong with my terminology there, but. They do get the ball into hang. She's up top. She's looking to drive. This is right to the corner. She gets it back. They need to make the way around. They need to use them here in the corners. They need to get a shot off. They need to get a three point shot off. And that three is no good, just a bit short. And a foul is called, and that'll be another two free throws. With only 12 seconds left of the game. These free throws are important here. If they score the game, if they score those free throws, they may have essentially won the game. Because now, if they score, it will turn into a three basket game at the minimum. Number 13, Ruby Cards here, stepping up to the line for two shots. Only 12 seconds left. Every shot really does count now. The two is with that six point lead still. And first mm. shot is off. Need to make the second one to push their lead up a bit further and secure the game. Second shot is good. And that, le cards. that leads to a free um, basket game at least. With just seven points left. They need to get quick shots up or quick fouls. They have to do they have to shoot it. But the ball gets blocked. And the game is over. With the women's two finishing on top. This has been Bucks Women's 2 and Women's 3 action, both Loughborough teams. We will be back with more Bucks action in the future. Thank you for tuning in.